In the past 40 years, only a few countries have demonstrated the ability to build their own main battle tanks. One such tank power is just a small country, Israel. The Israeli Merkava tank is one of the best MBTs ever produced. The birth of Israel in 1948 saw the formation of the Israel Defense Forces. Although initially possessing only a modest tank force, it also helped to repel attacks from neighboring Arab countries. By the war in 1956, the situation had improved significantly, and by 1967, Israel's armor corps had essentially won the Six Days War, with a tactic lightning attack across the Sinai Peninsula and the Golan Heights. The Israeli tanks forced at the time, mainly American M48 and British Centurion, crossed the Arabs and quickly entered the war. Israel's preemptive strike on its neighbors was not supported by some of its European allies. Britain canceled a joint tank development project, while France did not deliver more Mirage fighters and ships to Israel. The lesson for the Israelis is to reduce dependence on foreign powers, and in 1970, the Israeli Defense Force began to develop a tank of their own. The three main factors that defy a Martin tank are firepower, maneuverability, and protection. During development, Israel prioritized protection. Next is the firepower. Apart from survival, the only way to win the war is to destroy enemy tanks. And finally, the maneuverability. As a small country, Israel is not capable of fighting long-term campaigns or large battlefields. The main gun of the Merkava 1 was the 105mm M68, which was also the gun mounted on the Centurion, Parton, and the M60 tanks. Merkava 1 could carry 62 rounds, slightly above average, to ensure the tank can fight in long condition. In terms of secondary fire, the Merkava was armed with three machine guns, including a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, a two additional 12.7 and 7.62mm machine guns on the top of the turret for the commander and loader. In terms of maneuverability, the Merkava 1 version was only equipped with a 900 horsepower diesel engine, which powered the 63 ton tank. Therefore, Merkava had relatively slow speed, a maximum of only 45 km per hour. However, this was also not important, since the length of the territory of Israel is only 423 km. Merkava entered service with the Israeli Defense Force in May 1979 and entered combat for the first time in 1982 when it confronted T-72 tanks of the Syrian army in the Beka Valley. Merkava's destroyed at T-72s at ranges up to 2,000 meters. The experience from the wars in which Israel has participated 
has led to a new and increasingly improved version of the Merkava. The latest version is Merkava 4, which retains the design priorities of Merkava 1 and incorporates a newly redesigned turret, modular explosive reactive armor, and passive armor for faster damage repair in battle. The Merkava 4 replaced the 105mm main gun with a 120mm smoothbore gun with 58 rounds of ammunition, including Lahat anti-tank missiles. It is also equipped with a more powerful 1500 horsepower engine for faster speeds. A more advanced active protection system is adopted, the trophy, which uses a combination of turret-mounted sensors and interceptor rounds to intercept enemy fire. Not resting on their laurels, the Israelis began developing a successor to the Merkava 4 before it became obsolete, the Merkava 5. Therefore, in the distant future, the Merkava will still be hard to beat tank.